Hi, this is SynthChaser with SynthChaser.com. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to reload the factory patches into your Oberheim OBXA or other OB series synthesizer using the cassette interface. Uh, so to do this, we have to get set up. First step is to connect the sound source. A common 3.5 millimeter audio cable connects from our sound source, which in this case is the earphones output for a laptop to the jack labeled 2 output on the cassette interface section on the back panel of the synthesizer. The second step is to set our switch settings. The first switch is on the back of the synthesizer. We'll switch the enable on switch to the cassette interface. The second switch is inside the synthesizer. We'll open up the hood and make sure that the memory protect switch is switched to the off position. The switch needs to be in the back position. A little arrow showing protect forward gives you a good reminder. The connection's made and the switch is set. Now we're going to turn on the keyboard. And the cassette LED will light up indicating that it's in cassette mode. Uh, now we're going to play the factory wave file, which you can download through the link in the description of the video. And when we hear the leader tone, we're going to hit the play button. and now it's complete. Here's a couple helpful hints. If you don't hear the wave file coming through the output, check this switch. If you have it on off, you won't hear the wave file playing through the output of the OBXA. If at the end of your input the check light flashes, that means that the import wasn't successful. And what you can do is you can either raise or lower the volume of your input sound source to get it to work. Once your import was successful like mine was, turn the synthesizer off and switch the cassette enable back to off. You can also disconnect your connections at this time. Now fire the synthesizer back up and you've got the factory patches. Have fun. Thanks for watching.